I found this Mac Mini one day during my sane morning routine of looking through piles of rubbish. It was dead on arrival, being over a decade old and missing several parts, but I wanted to use the case for something as it had a nice shape. I had a few ideas, but nothing really stuck. So it sat in my parts bin until recently when I started making a watch. Or a skin for a watch, I suppose. It's inspired by the Seiko Timetron from the late 90s, which is just the coolest thing that I will probably never be able to afford. So I've gone and made something that you can print that combines some of the key design elements from the original with the internals of a cheap Casio watch. One of these design elements is the face, which bulges out in a way that reminds me of CRT screens. To recreate this effect, I'll need a vacuum former. Or should I say, a vacuum former. I start by removing the internals. This was a mostly painless process by Apple standards. Mostly painless. I can then take some measurements for the parts I'll need to make for its rebirth. Starting with the back cavity, I create a test piece to check the fit before landing on the final part. It's not quite perfect, but I don't want to waste more time and plastic on a part that won't ever be seen. I install this, and while I don't usually use glue, given that this is an Apple product, I thought that it was appropriate here. I also close up the opening to the DVD drive to seal the case shut. Next up, I make the main face, which I put a bit more effort into. This is a very less than ideal first layer, but the Ender 5 pulled it off, with some small errors. Since it'll be front and centre, I sand it back smooth, but drying it off we can see that it's now grey in colour, so I give it two coats of black paint. Installing these, I can't find any 2.5mm screws, so I opt to just change the threads to 3mm. Interesting. And by 3mm, I mean 4mm. With the holes tapped, I screw the top plate in place. Finally, I can bolt on this adapter for the vacuum I'm using, and with that in place, it's ready for work. Hmm. So, I know what's happening here. The plastic isn't getting close enough to the bed of the machine. I never had this problem before because my old machine was smaller than my frame. So I either need to make a bigger frame, which would waste a lot of plastic, or a smaller bed. So this was a tuna can, and I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with this, it's pretty neat. With different sized frames for different projects, I can save a lot of plastic when making small parts. A key feature of these is being able to have interchangeable beds. They don't use much material, and I can change between them with ease. But now, after all that, I can finally make the part for my watch. So, overall, I guess this project was a success. It's, of course, a bit silly, but it did work, and making the setup to use different frame sizes for different parts is actually pretty useful. If you would like to download the files, the watch, or the Mac Informer, for some reason, then the parts are linked in the description. Thanks, as always, for watching.